Praise the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, who sit upon the cherubim and who restored the might of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that through his cross and burial and resurrection he might save the world, who also when today he entered Jerusalem, to embark upon his voluntary passion, was met by the people who sat in darkness and the shadow of death, bearing the symbols of victory. Keep and preserve also us who on this prefestal day, in imitation of them, bear in our hands palms and boats, and like the, those nations and children who cry to you, Zana, May we likewise with him and spiritual song be made worthy of the life-giving resurrection. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, gracious, life-giving spirit, now and ever and forever. These pussy rolls are blessed by a spring of this holy water in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Reverend Father, give the blessing. Blessed the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. <coughs> In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from our high and for salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, the stability of the churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church, and for all entered with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Kurt, for the General Presbyterate, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and on the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city community, for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect
protect us, save us, have mercy and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. In memory, most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the veil took us and our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious of understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all be an expression. Look with compassion on us and the Holy Church of Master and show us and those who pray with us riches your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, your glory, honor, worship, now and ever, and forever. Wisdom be attentive. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Christ our God, before your passion, you've confirmed our common resurrection. When you raise Lazarus from the dead, therefore, like the children, we carry the symbols of 
victory and cry out to you, the victor over death, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. For you are holy of God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Let us be attentive. Peace be to all. Wisdom be attentive. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love endures forever. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Wisdom. A reading from the epistle of St. Paul to the Philippians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. Everyone should see how unselfish you are. The Lord is near. Dismiss all anxiety from your minds. Present your needs to God in every form of prayer and in petitions full of gratitude. Then God's own peace, which is beyond all understanding, will stand guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, my brethren, your thoughts should be wholly directed to all that is true, all that deserves respect, 
all that is honest, pure, admirable, decent, virtuous, or worthy of praise. Live according to what you have learned and accepted, what you have heard me say and seen me do. Then will the God of peace be with you. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. of the earth have seen the salvation of the Lord. Reverend Father, bless the proclaimer of the Gospel of Apostle and Evangelist John. May God, through the prayers of the Holy, glorious, lost Apostle Evangelist John, grant that you proclaim the word of his great power for the fulfillment of gospel is beloved Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. Amen. A reading of the Gospel according to St. John. Oh, let us be attentive. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the village of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave him a banquet at which Martha us served. Lazarus was one of those at table with Jesus. Mary brought a pound of costly perfume made from genuine aromatic nard, with which she anointed the feet of Jesus. When, then she dried his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the ointment's fragrance. Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one about to hand him over, protested, why was not this perfume sold? It could have brought three hundred silver pieces, and the money had been given to the poor. He did not say this out of concern to the poor, but because he was a thief, he held the purse and used to help himself to what was deposited there. To this Jesus replied, Leave her alone. Let her keep it against the day. They prepare me for burial. The poor you always have with you, but me you will not always have. The great crowd of Jews discovered Jesus was there and came out not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. The fact was, the chief priests planned to kill Lazarus too, because many Jews were going over to Jesus and believing in him on account of Lazarus. The next day, the great crowd that had come for the feast heard that Jesus was to enter Jerusalem, so he got palm branches and came out to meet him. They kept shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, blessed is the king of Israel. He has found a donkey and mounted it in accord with scripture. Fear not, O daughter, o daughter of Zion, your king approaches you on a donkey's colt. At first the disciples did not understand all this, but after Jesus glorified, to recall the people had done to him precisely what had been written about him. The crowd was present when Jesus called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead, kept testifying to it. The crowd came out to meet him because they heard he had performed this sign. Glory to Jesus Christ. 
Slavă Iisus Hristos! The feast of Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week. We completed the 40 days of the Great Fast on Friday. Now we begin the fast of Holy Week. And this is a very, very special week in our lives as Christians, in the life of the world. Because what happened during this week? First of all, we have the Last Supper, the day when our Lord established the Holy Eucharist for us. This is also the day that we consider the foundation of the priesthood. Then we have Good Friday, where our Lord suffered and died on the cross. Holy Saturday, where he rested in the tomb, while he was also below in Hades, freeing those there. And finally, the Feast of Feasts, Pascha, Easter, when our Lord rose from the dead. This week is a great opportunity for us as Christians to really recognize what God has done for us. The many, many gifts he has poured out on us. The joy that is available, even in the great sorrow we feel as we see his body resting in the tomb. We have to remember that the resurrection is for all of us. To save the whole world. This is an opportunity we have to truly absorb the joy that God is pouring out, the graces he pours out on us. And one of the great gifts that we have available to us this week, if we haven't taken advantage of it already, which we should have, is the opportunity for holy confession, for reconciliation with our Lord, for us to really take the time to look at ourselves hard, consider our issues, our problems, our failings, and present them to Him. And knowing the loving care that God pours out on us to free ourselves from that pain, from those issues that we have to deal with, this is a phenomenal opportunity that we have available to us. And it's interesting enough when we think about it, I've heard over the years from people outside our faith that Catholics are so guilt-ridden. We have so many guilt issues. And to my way of thinking, it's the opposite. Because we have the opportunity to free ourselves from that guilt. We have the ability to recognize where we fail, where we have said no, where we have disobeyed our Lord, and to free ourselves completely from it. God gives us this great chance. And he did so when he spoke to the disciples, you'll see this in Matthew 18, 18, and said, whatever you hold bound on earth is bound in heaven, and what is loosed on earth is loosed in heaven. This is the moment where he gave the authority to free us from sins to man. What a phenomenal gift that we received. And we really should take advantage of this if we haven't already to truly become clean before the Feast of Feasts so that we can have the joy that God has given us. And if we see this joy, we shall have the right to say, Glory to Jesus Christ! Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, O oh God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Uh, 
I can pray for my father, Francis Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurtz, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. I can pray for our government and all in the service of our country. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I can pray for the people of prayer who present your way for your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, for all Christians of the true faith. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful, loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. May the Lord our memories kingdom, are you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, our Holy Father, Francis Poporom, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, the interpriest in the Eclam Monastic Order, our government and all in the service of our country, and the ever-memorable founders and benefactors of this Holy Church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Pray for my consul and my spiritual in the time of the Irish Pray for me to live all days of your lives. And remember your kingdom always now and ever and forever. Remember my father. Amen. Precious is placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Grant is through mercy, only begotten Son, with me are blessed together with your all holy good and life-creating spirit, 
now and ever and forever. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only Let us stand the right, let us stand in all, to attend to offer the holy and <coughs> the in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God and Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just to sing to you, bless you, praise you, to thank you, to worship in every place of dominion. For your God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, ever the same, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of non existence into being. Again, raise us up when we had fallen, left nothing undone, until we brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there sent before you thousands of archangels, sends of thousands of angels. Cherubim and seraphim, six with many eyes, ring out on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn.
also cry out with these blessed powers, love and kind mercy, and say, Holy are you and all holy you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy magnificent is your glory. You so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy O pure and make hands, give thanks and bless, sanctify broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying. Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remember, therefore, the same command, and let come to pass in our behalf the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sin at the right hand, at the second coming glory. Offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you. We praise you. We thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, our God. Pray to you, our God. Moreover, we offer to you the spiritual and unbody sacrifice. We implore, pray, and treat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us, upon these gifts lying before us, and make this and bread the precious body of Christ. Amen. And that which is in this show is the precious body of Christ, Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Therefore, those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of each one, the remission of sins, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not a judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer the spiritual sacrifice for those departing faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, prophets, ascetics, and for just spirit brought to perfection in faith. In especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and the Virgin Mary.
as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O oh Lord, this city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, O oh Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O oh Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor, and upon all of us send down your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now we commemorate all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. For the precious is offering consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, mystical altar, as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, sent down upon us by grace in the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Oh, Lord have mercy. As community in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, Let's commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven and soul. Our Father.
let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Rejoice, children.
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Blessed our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. and receive the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, light, great, auspicious of Christ, that's worthily thank the Lord. Lord mercy. For you are our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Oh, let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctify those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all Jen has given ever a perfect gift, this rainbow coming down from the Father of lights, and we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace, loving kindness, always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May Christ our true God, who for our salvation deigned to enter Jerusalem, sitting on the cold of the donkey, and accepted the praise of Hebrew children, have mercy on us and save us. Through the praise of his most pure mother, our Holy Father, John Christ, much Bishop of Constantinople, our Holy Father, and Nicholas, the patron of this church, and through the praise of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all.
glory to Jesus Christ. Thank you for a beautiful liturgy. Thank you came to pray. Please read the bulletin. There is a special schedule for next week and find time. Find time to come to worship our Lord. I yesterday I was saying that this is some kind of memory I had from discussion that um, our, one of our priests were, was challenged or asked that, well, you Byzantine Catholics, you don't have feast, Christ the King. And he answered, well, we don't have this feast uh, in November or October, but we do have this feast on Palm Sunday. And I said, why? Because on Palm Sunday we are challenged to accept him as a, our king. And through week, Holy Week, there is a test of our reality if we are faithful to this king. If on Square Palm Sunday we are waving with palms and to his glory, this our movement is tested through Holy Week. Because Holy Week reminds us that we are walking the same way as he walked to Golgotha if we keep commandments. If there is no Golgotha in our life, so probably there will be no resurrection for us too. So it is very important, vegan, please find time for that and let's simplify our life during this week. May we can receive grace which is offered to us. I would like to wish happy birthday to Natalie Popiel. She is still sick, correct? So say a prayer for her because, well, as a choir director, she has a lot of things on her shoulder. May she recovers very fast and thank for her service to this church. Happy birthday to Thomas Habas. Happy birthday to Grover. Your happy birthday. May God bless you. Thank you for everything you're doing for church. Happy birthday to Pamela Boom. Happy birthday. Thank you for everything you are doing. May God bless you. Happy birthday to Amanda Becker. Happy birthday. And Elizabeth Gigic. I would like to uh, give thanks to Jim Sanderak. He became founder in supporting the Santa Claus Fund for this loan. Thank you very much for your generosity. I would like to welcome new members to our church. Uh, it's um, Eric and Anna Ruth and their daughters, Catherine and Claire. Welcome and feel home very soon. Well, Anne is daughter of our deacon. And also, it's, there is a connection. So, please, ladies, grab her and let her to be involved in all these your activities you have. And talking about activities, I have to add something very important. Yesterday, we planted 26 fruit trees behind the, our vineyard. This is a project which has continuation, you know, there's a plan. Especially I would like to express thanks to all donors because everything was donated. Amazing job. But well, even I appreciate these donations. And, but what was the best yesterday? If you go on Facebook, you find videos. This was, for me, one of the best moments in my pastoral work in parish. Seeing parents and children somehow working together on some kind of project, project which will tie them together 
and it ties them this parish, which creates this community. It was amazing. If you were here, you would feel this goosebumps, you know, seeing this zeal. And as I somehow try to think about how this orchard will look like in 20 years, maybe beautiful, seeing that yesterday, I saw that, well, what about orchard, but I saw future of this parish very beautiful. So thank you, all of you who came, even those you wanted to come, but you, but you couldn't. But this was amazing moment, very amazing moment, and I'm very thankful for all those who created that. Very powerful moment. So thank you for that. And now, what is important, please, Bella, come. Let me introduce Bella. She was here, she was today, she made her first uh, confession. Did you? I didn't know that. All right, so anyway, wait. But if you had this your school, probably it's not your first, so I don't know. <laughs> and Troy, congratulations. Both they made a very good job. Okay, so thank you and congratulations for you. Give them like hug in the hall because they both they deserve that. And one more thing, I know I'm talking too much. We have new server. George, show your face. So congratulations that you join our ranks, okay? And the mayor service brings you a lot of grace from God. Okay, very good. All right, stop talking. Let's go to... Oh. A wonderful Sunday and very blessed Holy Week. Two servants of God, Natalie Thomas, Grover, Pamela, Amanda, Elizabeth. Two servants of God, Troy and Belen. Two servants of God, Jim Senderak. Two servants of God, our new members and Mary, Catherine, Claire, to servants of God, all members of this parish, and to our visitors, grant all many years. Amen.